Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is the Lace Spirit Design Studio. So we are back with another shop update prep vlog. So this is the last prep vlog I'll have before the shop update and I think the way I have it scheduled out is this, this vlog will go up after the shop update. So I'll probably mention it at the end of the one that's going up before the shop update. Uh, so you guys have a reminder of when it is, but there's still a lot to do. And in this vlog, we are going to do some artwork. We are going to get products ready with photography and setting up my listings. And right now we're gonna do some unboxing. So first we have the very highly anticipated keychain restock. And this is 99% potion shaker charms and like one design of regular keychains. I'm opening this and then literally going to film the rest of the vlog you guys will have seen last week. Um, but there is another box to unbox, so we'll do all that right now. You guys absolutely sold me out of these at SAC Anime Summer. And I'm glad that these are here so I can finish off the Kickstarter, get all those scents, and I have my restocks now for the next couple of events. Maybe even for the rest of the year. I'm not entirely sure. My manufacturer talked me into, I wanted to order like 60 of the Starry bottle, potion bottle, and they talked me into like 73 or something like that. Some, there was a huge discrepancy, but like they worked with me on the price of them since it was like a, we want to fit these in the cut setup sort of thing. Anyway, I'm probably not making sense to most of you. So let's just get on with the unboxing. Yeah, I have a ridiculous amount of these now. Yeah, the rest of this is just all of those guys. Good lord. Definitely want to restock that one for a while. Oh yeah, all the pieces. Okay, and then I also got some of these. Alright, so the other box, this is part one of two for this shipment. I needed some stuff like right away, so I had my sticker book manufacturer send some stuff by air and then the rest of it will come by sea. Just so I have some stuff on hand for upcoming shows and the shop update. But I was out of these! I ran out at Sack Anime. I should have ordered them beforehand. So I had them send, I think like 50, maybe a hundred. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember, but I have enough for the next couple of cons. And then a very important restock. I had them send a handful of the spells. I had them send a handful of the field notes because you guys have been begging me to restock this and I do my best to listen when I feel like it's appropriate. So. We are all stocked up on those. Oh, I forgot I got rid of the other. Oh man, now I have to make room. Okay, let's see here. Cool. Consolidating. All right, and the keychains I have to package before I put them on the shelf, but those are restocked now. They will be live with a shop update on October 9th, which is a Wednesday. Um, and yeah, I need to finish the Kickstarter stuff, which you will have seen last week. 
and then it's time to make some artwork because you guys said that you are very excited to have some filler stickers that are waterproof. So I'm definitely gonna do some of those. They're probably gonna be fall themed for now. We'll see how well that sort of thing does and then make more designs. I have some ideas. Um, I'm also gonna work on the exclusive sticker that I'll have up for two weeks after the shop update. And yeah, there's some other stuff to restock. I have some stickers printed that need to be laminated and cut. And I'm waiting on the deco sticker order, which I don't know if it'll arrive by the time the shop update happens, but hopefully close enough that I can fulfill orders in a timely manner. And if there's time, I'm going to reformat the sticker sheets, the paper sticker sheets. So let's see what I can get done. Okay, so it is, I think, like two weeks since the last clips that I filmed from this vlog when I did the unboxing. Life update real quick. If you have not seen the last vlog that we did or anything that I posted on Instagram, we had a big health scare with our dog Clarice. Um, she's the blonde one if you guys haven't seen any of this stuff. Uh, you've probably seen her in the background of these videos. And I already talked a lot about this in the vlog I put up earlier this week, late. <laughs> the first late vlog I've had since February, the Artsy Tea Club vlog. I'll link it up here or down below, or however. You can click through and find it. Anyway, to be really brief, because I did already talk about this, uh, she's having some neurological issues. It's just been a nightmare. But like within a couple of weeks, we had taken her to the vet like three times and did an emergency trip up to San Jose to almost get an MRI. Didn't get the MRI because it was gonna cost tens of thousands of dollars. But basically like that kind of took over our life for a little while. I had to postpone the shop update. That was supposed to be like, a week ago. It'll be, well, by the time you see this, it'll hopefully be live. And yeah, so <laughs> everything's just been kind of a mess, but I am still going forward with the spooky shop update. I'm going to include the things that I already have that are new, as well as some brand new things for the shop update. So let me show you real quick. So I will put up the time lapses, but as promised, I did make some very tiny vinyl sticker sheets. These are laminated vinyl they're matte i've already laminated them and they just need to be cut and i did four designs so there's bats and pumpkins a bunch of little stars mushrooms featuring a very cheeky boy and some tiny plants and i had mentioned that i was going to do a exclusive sh sticker for the shop update so <laughs> because of the dog stuff let me get a better angle here. This is the exclusive sticker. It doesn't say the shop update or anything on there. It just is a sticker, but it's going to be available online until October 31st. Um, I'll probably have this one with me at uh, Yumicon, and that's Y-U-M-E-Con, not Yumicon, the one that apparently has um, some hot tea in the Midwest. Um, yeah, so I'll probably have these there next weekend, the 26th and the 27th in San Jose. And I am still, I am still working on some exclusive sticker sheets of the dogs, Olive and Clarice. I have talked about it in Instagram posts mostly, but I maybe have mentioned it in the last vlog. I honestly can't remember at this point, but I plan to make some four by six sticker sheets, one for Olive, one for Clarice. If there's time, I wanna do one with the both of them, so there's three to choose from. And those will go towards all existing and future vet bills. Whatever you guys spend on them, the money I make on them will go towards vet bills to cover because it's, even though we didn't go through with an MRI for her, we still did like blood work and x-rays and it still was a chunk of change that we were not prepared to spend. So I'm finishing those up. I'm going to start cutting these guys and I'll put up some time-lapse art of the tiny sticker sheets. And also when I finish them, I'll put up the sticker sheets of the dogs.
at how freaking cute these came out. I'm literally obsessed with them. So we've got the tiny mushrooms, lots of stars, tiny plants, and one spooky one, pumpkins and bats. So, and they're matte laminated, they're dishwasher safe, UV safe, so cute. And in case you're wondering, I made them this size so they would fit perfectly in these drawers. Because this is where I want all my stickers to be. Oh, they're so cute. I hope you guys are excited about these because I'm very excited. And then of course we have the exclusive sticker, also matte laminated dishwasher safe and UV safe. And yeah, there's pretty much everything that I need to photograph at least. I am going to try to print the sticker sheets of the dogs on my printer to save some cost. And I'm gonna test that probably over the weekend. So I don't have physical printed and cut sticker sheets of that. So I've made mock-ups of them. So that will be the listing photo. But this is all that I have to do for like product photography and new listings. Geez, I look like a mess. Um, anyway, so because one of the things that I'm posting in the shop update is the brand new item of tiny stickers, I decided because I want to get the best mileage out of these, my website is gonna be whatever, but I wanna make sure that these sell really well on Etsy. So that kind of leads me into our sponsor for this week, which is Everbee. Everbee is an extension for Etsy that plugs right into your shop to provide analytics not only on various keywords and niche topics, but your own shop and listings as well. And while you can sign up and use Everbee completely for free, the amount of data and research tools available in the growth plan is invaluable to an Etsy shop owner of any stage. Even if you already have an established Etsy shop, utilizing Everbee's research tools to analyze your own listings is extremely useful to see what aspects of your listings are underperforming and what you can do to enhance their visibility and get more sales. Even at the free level, Everbee is great for anyone who is researching niches or keywords for their Etsy listings to help give your shop a great head start. So I plan to be using Everbee to do some product keyword research and see if people are listing tiny sticker sheets, if that's even like a general keyword that I should be looking into, or basically just I'm doing the research to see what aspect of a tiny sticker sheet is selling well and how I can use that to make my listings more visible. So if you guys want to use this for your own Etsy listings, there is an affiliate link down in the description below. You don't have to use it, but if you do, I do get a small commission from it. But yeah, you could also just use Everbee Complete for free you just don't get access to all of the tools but it is still a really great resource especially as we head into Q4 the holiday shopping season so I'm gonna go get myself a little more presentable than I am now and I'm going to rock and roll with the rest of this shop update so I will see you guys very soon good afternoon guys it is D-Day shop update launch day and i'm choosing to do the launch at 5 p.m so that gives me a little bit of extra time to make up for just all the hiccups that i've experienced and just make sure that everything is going smoothly i have the dogs in here with me i don't think i showed you guys like the setup when the vet said to do crate rest for clarice for four weeks confining her to her crate which is pretty small didn't seem to be the best choice and she's a very independent little lady. So let me show you what we've done. So these are their crates. Uh, Olive actually really likes to sleep in hers. It's kind of her room, um, but it was just too confined for Clarice, especially overnight. So what we've done, what we've done is we've made a little room for her. So she has a nice orthopedic bed, which is supposed to help um, the potential slip disc in her neck and any other like spine issues. Um, we lined it with pee pads in case she has an accident, but she's got raised dishes to also help with her neck because the, I don't think I mentioned it, but the issue is more than likely a slip disc in her neck that is pressing against her spinal cord and causing her brain to not talk to her feet, which is causing the dragging. So this is where she sleeps at night. 
she's used to sleeping with us in the bed um but she gets to come out in the morning when ryan's getting ready and she snuggles with me um and this has little doors so i can either lift her out of here or she can walk through and she really hates to be in the room alone so i've set up these are literally bungee cord corded um another gate so that they can be confined in here because the problem is if olive gets excited about something if i just have them free roaming if olive gets excited about something and she runs to the front door this one's gonna follow and we want her to rest rest as much as possible huh little scrump so yeah that way i can still be in here doing my work so the agenda now is i need to take product photos and there's only eight things to take product photos of so this should go really fast i think probably setting up the lights is going to be my biggest hindrance and i honestly might just do it without the lights just to get it done because there's going to be other stuff i will need to take product photos of in the next couple of weeks and i don't want to do it all over again so i may as well just kind of do it really quickly and then I need to make some listing mock-up photos for the charity sticker sheets for the dogs. And you guys will be very excited to know that some things are coming back. This isn't all of the designs. These are just what I have on hand, but these have been reformatted and I'm working on my planner stickers as well. So they're all gonna have a cohesive look to them. And those I'm also going to try printing on my printer at home so that I can save on some cost. So I need to make some mock-ups of those as well. And then just create the new listings, edit inventory as necessary, and we go live at 5 p.m. And I think I'm gonna go right into the next vlog by the time I launch. So that way the next vlog is gonna be like the aftermath of the shop update and probably some con prep because we do have Yumicon coming up. getting down to the wire, but I'm trying to do the very last little bits of the listings. All right, it's getting dark. It's technically already five o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and make all of these live publishing. Yay, all the new stuff is published. Cool. Okay, now I'm just gonna go down here and so I'm putting up a new shop banner so that people know the October shop update is live. Cool, all right. So that should be good. I don't have anything like Shopify where it shows me how many people are on the site, but there it is. You can go to shop now. Shows all the new items. Oops, I forgot to put the restocks in there. So that's restocked. So that's all the new stuff. I haven't yet put up the reformatted sticker sheets. I'm still working on those, so bear with me. But I don't think anybody's rushing to this. Okay, everything is live on the website. I still, after this, have to go through and add everything to Etsy, which is super important because I do wanna see how well the tiny stickers do when I do Everbe research with them. So I'm going to immediately pick up for the next vlog. Um, I don't think there's anything rolling in quite yet, so maybe I'll just wait until uh, I have some orders to pack, but I will in the next vlog talk about how the shop update went and get right into con crunch for yumicon so be sure to check out the update 
if you haven't already. Um, that exclusive sticker of Olive and Clarice dressed up for Halloween is only available until October 31st, so be sure to grab it. And all the proceeds from that as well as the Olive and Clarice sticker sheets are gonna go towards vet bills. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who has shopped or is shopping the update right now. And also everybody who's donated to us. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And that's why I wish you the best.